Reporting live from the Kitchen Renovations here in Mississauga, it's live from last week episode 61. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome you, my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier this morning, I got off shift to mini carpool with a couple of my co-workers, Adam and Sandra. But unfortunately, after I dropped them off, post night shift, I was only able to sleep for this long. And guys, I don't know about you, all I know is that I'm having quite a lot of difficulties sleeping after my night shifts. I found myself staying up to watch one of my favorite Winter Olympic sports, the biathlon. A combination of cross-country skiing, mixed in with a couple of stops where you have to try to slow down your heart rate, and aim a rifle in order to hit several targets while you're stopped, then continue on with your cross-country skiing. I also stayed up to watch the big air snowboarding competition where these brave snowboarders pretty much fling themselves off a ramp and land their very complex tricks. But anyways, continuing on, I don't know if you guys remember this scene from last week's episode. So today is February 14th, aka Valentine's Day. But unfortunately for me and the wife, I'll have to rain check a date for her and I because tonight I'm going in for a night shift. And I decided to try to surprise the wife, so I got to work by setting up the dinner table with a couple of imitation candles, make up a bath for her for when she comes home from a long day's work at the hospital, and also, while I was at it, set up some romantic slash relaxation candles for her to enjoy. I then created a nice Valentine's Day gift bag for her, which featured things like Valentine's Day chocolates, a mini teddy bear, a creative and funny Valentine's Day card, and a set of bath bombs for her to enjoy when she takes her bath later on this evening. And after all that was set up, I drove downtown, picked her up from work, and delivered to her her Valentine's Day gift bag. Happy Valentine's Day, baby! Thank you! <laughs> Next, I went to a local fish and chip store on Coxwell and Dundas, a place that we always pass by but never tried, called British Style Fish and Chips which I had a takeout order for, and which we had for our belated Valentine's Day dinner. And as you guys can tell by how delicious this food appears, it tasted just as amazing as it looks. And to be honest guys, I really think that the wife truly appreciated the surprise that I had for her earlier today. But moving on, before I wrap it up for the night, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my FSAT friends who I attended the FSA boat formal with back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Teresa. Happy birthday, Teresa. Next birthday shout out goes out to one of my former co-workers who is always positive and very energetic at work. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Rupa. Happy birthday, Rupa. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my SMIOA friends whom I met several years back in Chicago when we had that reunion. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Valerie. Happy birthday, Val. To all my friends that are celebrating their birthdays today, hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you guys had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. Woo, just at the Blue Mountain Ski Resort in Collingwood, Ontario today, because if you guys can tell, this is the weather that we'll be having. And of course, we gotta take advantage of that, 100%. Let's go!
So after a very productive day snowboarding those blacks and double black diamonds at Blue Mountain today, I just want to throw a quick shout out to Philip who joined me on my adventure. But yeah, thanks for snowboarding with me earlier today and I'm hoping for more snowboarding adventures with you sometime in the near future. Anyways, I'm back in downtown Toronto waiting to pick up the wife from her day shift this evening. But before I do that and say goodnight to you guys this evening, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my old YSIC friends, Priscilla. Happy birthday, Priscilla. Wherever you are, I hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and that you had a great birthday this year. So I forgot to mention how yesterday was a pretty long day, especially with the fact that I only had five hours of sleep, waking up at 4.30 in the morning. So it was easy to say that even before I went to Blue Mountain to go snowboarding, I was already exhausted. Plus, another thing that's dangerous when you're awake that early in the morning was that I was kind of in the same similar situation where you stay up late at night, browsing on your phone, going on eBay, Amazon, whatever. Well, yesterday morning, I was on Alibaba, AliExpress, browsing around, and guess who put a couple of items into their shopping cart? And not just that, I clicked on purchase said items. Meaning that in a month or two, I'll probably be getting some random items that I forgot that I bought online. But anyways, back to my snowboarding session yesterday. During this run on the Smart Alex ski hill, I don't know if you guys can pick me out, but I was featured on the webcam of the Blue Mountain website. And look at me go in my bright orange shirt, attempting to be an Olympic freestyle athlete and doing a 180 at the end of my run. Now, on to today where I was spending all day just editing videos and posting them to my YouTube channel of the point of view snowboarding videos that I've been taking each and every time I'm at Blue Mountain, which I'm hoping that you guys will check out in the links below or on YouTube in the playlist above. But yeah, check those out if you want to experience how it's like on the hills of Blue Mountain without leaving the comfort of your home. But moving on, once I was done editing videos for the day, the wife and I caught the ending of a season of The Amazing Race Canada, which featured places just like Banff and a couple of other cities that we went to while we were on our honeymoon. After wrapping up those seasons, we decided to keep the Amazing Race Canada marathons on. And yeah, you guys guessed it, we started yet another new season. I mean, we just can't get enough of the host, former Olympian John Montgomery. But yeah guys, I'm off for my first of my four night shifts in a row tonight. And I'm hoping that it won't be stressful like the other shifts that I've had in the past. But before I go in for my night shift tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with the husband of one of my Ryerson classmates back in the day. Where we used to hang out at the reunions every single year, especially during Christmas. This birthday greeting goes out to you Miko! Happy birthday Miko! And secondly, we have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends. A person that I used to hang out with back when I was at Mother Teresa and Good Shepherd. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jolene. Happy birthday, Jolene. I'm hoping that all y'all that are having your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So get this, guys. This morning, I got off one of my most busiest and stressful night shifts that I have ever had. Running around for most of my 12 hour shift, answering constant call bells, having several isolation patients, frequent administration of medications, and having some verbally aggressive patients that you just have to step away from, on top of dealing my six patient patient load, and leaving work after 8 a.m., with it being my first of my four night shifts in a row, honestly, I was already drained and not looking forward to going in for my next three night shifts. Plus, I felt like my blood pressure was elevated and that I had a headache from all the stress from work while commuting home. Adding to all of this, in the middle of my post-night shift nap, sleeping less than two hours and waking up at 12.19 in the afternoon, my condo, unfortunately, had a fire alarm. But luckily for me, I was able to fall back to sleep for a little bit and for dinner have help from the wife to make this delicious burger from our HelloFresh order for this week. And guys, I don't know if you can tell by these videos, but boy, was this burger and fries combo 
ever delicious. But yeah, I guess you guys can tell that I'm in a little better mood than I was this morning. So before I go in for my second of my four night shifts, wish me luck guys. We have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I played in a beach volleyball tournament back in the summer with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Carlos. Happy birthday, Carlos. Next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my Ryerson friends who I also lived with in Wysik and partied up in 7C with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. And now, on to the next birthday greeting to a former Wysik friend of mine and co-worker that I used to work with in the hospital and go to the holiday work parties with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Eugene. Happy birthday, Eugene. Last but not least, this birthday greeting goes out to a family friend who every year reminds me to pay my CNO fees. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm hoping that all my friends and family that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for their birthdays this year. So after yet another busy night shift, where at the start of the shift, while we were going around seeing all of our patients, we had to redeploy one of our staff to another unit. Furthermore, increasing our workload and decreasing the amount of staff that we had to work with our patients last night. But I'm just glad to say that I'm done two of my four night shifts so far and that I'm halfway done this stretch of stressful shifts. But after work on the way to pick up the wife after her night shift this morning, I had to drive by several police checkpoints on Hospital Row. And as you guys can see, there are so many police cars on the road at this time. Mainly because they're there just in case there are protests at Queens Park this weekend. Which just means I'll have to make a little bit more time on my commute to work tonight. But yeah, just on my way to do my third of my four night shifts, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So last night, while commuting to work, I was about 10 to 15 minutes late, mainly because, as you guys can see by the video footage, there were several police closures and police checkpoints all along University Avenue. Also, in part, because there's a potential protest at Queen's Park yet again this weekend. And I'm hoping that tonight it won't be as busy and I'll be able to get to work on time. But on to today, after I got off yet another busy night shift this morning, on my downtime, I decided to check out one of my earlier videos of Jaywalker POVs live from last week. And this one was of episode two, the New Year's episode, where I was watching New Year's footage from all over the world, as well as the time where I celebrated New Year's at work with some of my former coworkers. But yeah, I forgot to mention that tonight I'm going in for my fourth of my four night shifts which I'm pretty excited for because I'm really looking forward to my days off. So yeah, as usual, when I'm going in for my fourth of my four night shifts, in order to pump myself up for my night shift, I usually sing a song, which you guys know goes, One more night. But before I go into work tonight, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my FSAT friends who I remember running into randomly in Mississauga, as well as being inspired by his martial arts skills and his teachings. This birthday greeting today goes out to you, Luigi. Happy birthday, Luigi. And next, we have a birthday greeting to one of my former coworkers, of whom I used to have fun times going to social gatherings with and dinners with back in the past. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Mara. Happy birthday, Mara. For everybody that's celebrating their birthdays today, hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. Welcoming everybody out there to the third Monday in February. And for us here in Ontario, we're celebrating Family Day. So, just wanted to wish you and all your families a happy Family Day today. Anyways, after I got off from shift this morning, I was driving one of my co-workers, Adam, from his night shift last night, to actually his post night shift day shift job. But I'm guessing times are tough enough right now that if you're trying to provide for a family or trying to buy housing in Toronto, you just can't live off of just one job but have to work two jobs. But anyways, after I dropped them off for family day, I went all the way to Mississauga to hang out with my Saga family for this holiday Monday. And I don't know if you remember this scene from the kitchen renovations in Saga in the past, but when I peeked in and checked out the rentals today, I was just blown away with the progress. Also, later in the evening, the wife introduced me to all the new cabinets and cabinetry that they have installed up there. 
And boy, does this place ever look different. So yeah, I'll continue to take videos of the progress of the Renaults and hopefully this kitchen will be done and ready for use in the next couple of months. But on to later on this evening where we had our nice family day meal at the dinner table and had a historic event that happened to us for dessert this evening. The wife and I decided that after almost two years of fasting from McDonald's, we were going to break that fast today. So we drove around all of Mississauga to look for the closest McDonald's because we were craving McFlurries today. But the first McDonald's that we went to, unfortunately ran out of the flavors that we were craving. So up we left and we went to our next closest McDonald's and checked out the drive through Hi, good evening. I was wondering if I can have uh, two regular Oreo McFlurries and two regular Smarty McFlurries, each with extra toppings of whatever they have. Thank you. Bye. This one had both Oreos and Smarties. The other one just had Smarties, right? Oh, yeah, Smarties. They didn't have score or anything like that. Thank you so much. You too. Okay. 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 There you go. <laughs> There's a guy that's like... Get <laughs> and once we finally got home, we broke our McDonald's fast for the first time in over two years. Ooh, McDonald's for the first time in two years. <laughs> Breaking the fast. Okay, my turn. McFlurry from McDonald's. Oh, there's too much McDonald's at one time. <laughs> so yeah, it's time to check that one off of my 2022 New Year's resolutions goals list. Continuing on, and before we wrap it up for this week, we have a birthday greeting to one of our Airbnb hosts back in the past, who was an amazing person to meet and a person that was very passionate about their city in New Orleans. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy out there, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Anyways guys, that pretty much sums it up for this week. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.